Good night, boss. Yes, you did say you wanted my team's report, so I'd say it back to complete everything on time. Well, I didn't want to hold it for schedule. We all have to burn the midnight oil one night or the other. You've noticed. Why, thank you. It, it's reassuring when you notice. I always thought you were too busy to realize. No, 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 no. I, I don't think you're that type. It's just that since you're n noticeably swamped with work, I don't think you have time to gather such details. Thank you. Mm -mm. I know you're busy, but I do have something to discuss with you. No, th there's no need for me to sit down. It, it would be better for me to keep standing. <laughs> no, I I'm not quitting. Just hear me out for a minute, please. So, coming into this company two years ago and being promoted to manager in the last six months, it's been a roller coaster. I never thought things would go this well so fast. I swear to you, I'm not quitting. I'm giving you the backstory. Just at the. Just say it. Okay, fine. I. Like you. See, I told you I need the backstory. I had this script in my head. Now I really need to sit down. I knew I couldn't have said I liked you plainly because of this reaction. I had to fill in the blanks. As I was saying, it all happened so fast. The first time we met officially, it was a month after I got here and I was still a trainee. I was getting the briefing for the first project I would be assisting with. You opened the floor for suggestions and you looked right at me, saying I looked like I had something to contribute. I had a lot of ideas and you heard them all out even when you knew it wasn't feasible before I was even finished. I picked up on that, but you were like that with all the trainees, even the seniors. Even though it crossed my mind that I'm not the special one, and you're like that with everyone, you still managed to charm me that day. <sighs> Since then, I've grown. I took on my own project, where we even worked together. I knew for sure that feeling like this for two years could never be a phase for me. I thought about the pros and cons of confessing, especially so fresh into my new promotion, but I couldn't keep it anymore. I know about the power imbalance. It's number one on the cons, but you know how I feel is also number one on pros. Right there, scribbled with giving me a chance, in parentheses. What would HR say? Nothing, because they would never know. Yes, I am sane and clear-minded. I know about the power imbalance. I know how bad it, it looks to start something with a new promotion. I thought about it for months. I'm a professional. I know it's ironic to say, considering... I am confessing to my boss at um, 11 p.m. in our office, but I know I would never let our personal and professional lives touch to be found out. I know this is going to sound presumptuous, but everything I set up till now has been I wouldn't have confessed if I thought you didn't feel the same. You know I'm an observer. You even said it's one of my strongest traits. I noticed the looks, the tones, the gestures. 
For the last six months, we've been going to out-of-office meetings and seminars. The time we've been spending together has increased. Yes, you do this with all the managers, but I love you back. Tell me I'm wrong. If I misunderstood, tell me I'm wrong. See? You can't say a word. If that's not the point, what is? The principle. I think that's far gone now. I'm just looking for a chance. I swear, think of me as a trainee again. I can prove that I, I'd never get in the way of work. I won't make your personal life harder. I swear. You sharing the same feelings counts to me more than you'll ever know. I also know how highly you hold your job. But do you need to kill our feelings for that? Isn't there a way to at least have this for ourselves? I have taken everything into consideration. I know they won't have to find out. I just need you to give us a trial run. I just need you to trust me on this. <laughs>